Good evening and welcome once again, friends. My name is Gerald here with Innovate Christian Community Church in Kannapolis, North Carolina for our daily psalm reading. Wherever you're at, whether this be your first time, your hundredth time, your sixth, whatever, we're just so glad that you have come and joined us for this reading. As always, our hope and prayer is just that you're blessed and encouraged by us reading God's Word together. Today is Psalm 107. It is entitled, Let the Redeemed of the Lord Say So. O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he has redeemed from trouble, and gathered in, the, in from the lands, from the east and from the west, from the north and from the south. Some wandered in desert wastes, finding no way to a city to dwell in. Hungry and thirsty, their soul fainted within them. Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble, and he delivered them from their distress. He led them by a straight way till they reached the city to dwell in. Let them thank the Lord for his steadfast love, for his wondrous works to the children of man. For he satisfies the longing soul, and the hungry soul he fills with good things. Some sat in darkness and in the shadow of death, prisoners in affliction and in irons. For they had rebelled against the words of God, and spurned the counsel of the Most High. So he bowed their hearts down with hard labor. They fell down with none to help. Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble, and he delivered them from their distress. He brought them out, out of darkness and the shadow of death and burst their bonds apart. Let them thank the Lord for his steadfast love, for his wondrous works to the children of man. For he shatters the doors of bronze and cuts in two the bars of iron. Some were fools through their sinful ways, and because of their iniquity suffered affliction. They loathed any kind of food, and they drew near to the gates of death. Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble, and he delivered them from their distress. He sent out his word and healed them, and delivered them from their destruction. Let them thank the Lord for his steadfast love, for his wondrous works to the children of man. And let them offer sacrifices of thanksgiving and tell of his deeds and songs of joy. Some went down to the sea in ships, doing business on the great waters. They saw the deeds of the Lord, his wondrous works in the deep. For he commanded and raised the stormy wind, which lifted up the, sea, the waves of the sea. They mounted up to heaven, they went down to the depths, their courage melted away in their evil plight. They reeled and staggered like drunken men, and were at the wit's end. Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble, and he delivered them from their distress. He made the storm be still, and the waves of the sea were, were hushed. Then they were glad in the waters that the waters were quiet, and he brought them to their desired haven. Let them thank the Lord for his steadfast love, for his wondrous works to the children of man. Let them extol him in the congregation of the people, and praise him in the assembly of the elders. He turns rivers into a desert, springs of water into thirsty ground, a fruitful land into a salty waste, because of the evil of its inhabitants. He turns the desert into pools of water, a parched land into springs of water. And there he lets the hungry dwell, and they establish a city to live in. They sow fields and plant vineyards and get a fruitful yield. By his blessing they multiply greatly, and he does not let their livestock diminish. When they are diminished and brought low through oppression, evil, and sorrow, he pours contempt on princes and makes them wander in trackless wastes. But he raises up the needy, out of affliction and makes their families like flocks. The upright see it and are glad, and all wickedness shuts its mouth. Whoever is wise, let him attend to these things. Let them consider the steadfast love of the Lord. Friends, maybe you are in a dark time. Maybe you are like this talks about where you're in a time of trouble. Maybe you haven't found or sought peace in the Lord yet. And so you're waiting, and he's allowing you to wait and sort of marinate. Sometimes he uses these dark times around us to make us cry out to him. Because sadly, for many of us, it takes that. You know, all through this the psalm, it talks about people in trouble, People going their own way. 
and then once everything goes bad, once the affliction and things start going rough, it's only then that they cry out to him to help. Over and over it talks about them crying out to God and then him hearing. Friends, maybe that's you. Maybe this is your moment now to cry out to God. Maybe you haven't before. And maybe this time that you're in, maybe that's what is the catalyst for you to finally give your life to the Lord. Let Him redeem your life and make more of it than you can make on your own. Friends, I've talked before. I would never be where I'm at without His grace and His mercy. And I'm so thankful that he has redeemed me and redeemed my life. And so as it says, let the redeemed of the Lord say so, I say so. I will continue to remember, I will continue to thank him, and I will continue to praise him. Because he has redeemed me out of the pit that I was trying to dig for myself. You know, we all have parts of our lives that we hide or that we try to get our joy from and so we continue to run from him digging our own pit seeking fulfillment in something other than God himself but if there's only one shape that that hole is meant to be filled by then only one thing will fill it, and that is God, the one that created it. And so, friends, my hope and prayer for you is that you would cry out to him to save you, to redeem you, to make you new. Let the old you die and let the new you be created and be born in him. Be born again, my friends, as the word says. You must be born again. Friends, as always, my hope and prayer is just you're blessed and encouraged by these words, by our reading together. And if so, would you pass this on to someone else too so that they too can be blessed and encouraged? And friends, I thank you for joining us and we'll be back on again tomorrow for our next Psalm reading. Have a wonderful evening.